Today was just one of those days where you don't necessarily get a whole lot down on the page. Um, very, very low word count today. Uh, basically, it, it was the result of me. It was a result of me not knowing my character is what it was. So I'm, I'm at the, the point in the story basically where um, the, a main character and a secondary character have this big um, sort of blowout um, confrontation. There's a confession involved in it. And I didn't know the secondary character well enough uh, to write out their dialogue. It, it was right at the, right at the moment of the, the, the confession there and the outburst and the whole deal. And I just didn't know, I just didn't know well enough. I didn't know how the secondary character was going to react. I didn't know what they were going to say. Um, going into it, I, I knew obviously the general disposition. I know their, I knew their general reaction um, to, to the news. I, I, I knew, I knew, kind of knew what the ending was going to be, but I didn't know the, the down to specific lines they were going to say. I, I didn't know how this person in real life would react to it, basically. I, I didn't know exactly what, what they would say. And so a lot of today was just me really sitting at the keyboard there and just staring at my screen, um, trying to, to figure this out, trying to get, you know, the exact specific reaction that this person would have. I mentioned in, I think it was one of my first videos that, um, Often the the first thing that that comes to mind is what you need to ignore. Um, you know, you like the the first line of dialogue in this example, right? Like the first things that were coming to my mind, my character's response, were the were just the the very immediate reactions, the the, the sort of stereotype reactions, the the very the the non specific reactions right like I can't believe this um you got to be kidding me what were you thinking that that so you know th those sort of reactions right and you need to ignore these ones so you you need to basically get those out of your head and go deeper with it you know it's like working an old like farmhouse pump like if you ever like lived in a farmhouse space here or like worked like an old water pump that you that you installed when when you do the first couple pumps, right? What comes out is all this dirty, muddy water, right? You, you so, and so, so, so you keep on, you keep on basically kind of pumping, keep on going forward. And eventually basically the clean water, the, 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 the good stuff basically comes out later, right? But the, the, the immediate reactions that you have, those surface level, those immediate things, the immediate lines of dialogue that you're going to think of are, are almost always going to be the dirty water. It's, 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 it's just the, the first thing that comes to your head and it comes to your head because you've seen it before. You've seen these sort of reactions, these sort of mellow, just an example of dialogue. You've seen the sort of melodrama and these sort of, uh, you know, lines said basically so many times before that they're at kind of like the forefront of your recall. So that way, basically, you, you know, it's the first thing you'll automatically say without thinking. But that's also what doesn't make it unique. That's what that's what makes it so nonspecific, and that and that's what makes writing makes someone's writing very very weak, is that you go for these you go for these lines that anybody you know will think of right, and so you need to the for me because I need to go deeper. I need to really figure out what this person was going to say, um, and you'll see me on the screen here. I, I just a moment ago I was tapping my thumbs. I'm uh, just looking back at this now, and I mean I I was you know sitting this I cut out a good portion of the beginning of <laughs> this just because I wanted to. Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty boring me not doing anything, um, but yeah, I mean most of my time today was just here, just thinking out, trying to come up with just in it. It really amounted to like four lines of dialogue in some dis like in some movement character movement description basically so that that's really what this whole thing amounted to but it was just the very specific reaction that i needed to have to make this scene work to kind of bring it home um but you know on the bright side of that obviously i got i i did actually finish the chapter so so, so it wasn't much left to to finish off the chapter i was already well into it from yesterday so the chapter is done, which is great. That leaves me, you know, I think that was, I think I've got about, I think something like 14 more, 14 more like scenes left to do. So, um, 
getting really close there towards the end, basically 14 spread out amongst two different characters. So it's seven scenes a piece. Um, so we're getting very, very close here to, to wrapping this whole thing up, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so, so today that, that was what it was. It was just a lot of really thinking, really trying to figure out, okay, what is my character going to do? What specifically are they going to do? And that's the advice I, I would give to you. Um, if you're going to take anything away from this is just that it's, it's just, it's just getting to know your character to the point that you can write out these scenes basically and have them be 100% real. And it all just stems to, it all comes back to just knowing your character, but knowing them at a very, very sort of deep level, knowing them as much as you would know some, you know, a person in your real life, really. Um, it's, it's not just, you know, coming up with a fake backstory that, that, that no one ever sees. It's like getting into like the very specific, you know, ideas, values, um, and, it, and it goes across the board for all of your characters. It's not just you know, not, not just the surface level ones, right? It's not, not, not just the, the main characters, but like even your secondary ones, you need to know like down to a T. And I'm always impressed with authors that can, you know, take even secondary characters and make them seem really, like almost make them seem basically as unique as, as the main characters. I mean, to, to like the, what comes to mind when I, when I say that is something like, like Tolstoy's Anna Karenina, right? Where like, yeah, the the main the stories I would see about really, I guess two people really. But then if you go deeper, it's really about like four people. But even then, you can start going deeper and say, well, it's actually about a whole you know everyone else intertwined with both with both couples' relationships, and it, it's absolutely impressive how how every single character basically can seem like a main character. They seem like main players. Um, it, it's. It's like it's like a good role playing game, right? Like, like it's like a good video game, basically, where like you can back like in like the early two thousands when RPGs started becoming a, a bigger thing, right? With games maybe like the like the earlier Grand Theft Autos, for example, right? The the secondary characters always felt like they were just existing to support the world of the one main character, right? Like it didn't seem like the world could exist independent of them. But now, I mean, like if you look at RPGs today, like like the the, the, the like again, Grand Theft Auto's example, right? Like Grand Theft Auto Five that came out, that game is so so well built, basically with all the every with all this AI and these secondary character movements that you could literally not play, and it would seem like the world would still would would still basically exist and function absent your character. It feel it feels like the world's not necessarily built for your character. The world is built for everyone, and your character just happens to be part of it. You know, um, and I, I think really, really good writing writers and other characters really well um, can can pull this off, you, you know, pull off the same thing. They make they make not necessarily the main characters, but they make the world the sort of the stage, basically. And everyone has and it, everyone feels basically very unique when you do that. And it feels it feels very, very alive and it feels very it feels real because that's obviously how, how the actual real world is, right? Like as, as, much, as much as we view ourselves as the main character, the world can operate independent of us. And so strong characters, when an author has really strong characters to a story, they make their worlds feel that same way.